Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for three months from the date that you watch it. So, say if you watch it in April, May, June, July, July. So three months from the date that you watch it. Uh, we're just going to see what gets uh, comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Capricorn? Three months from now. Three months. What do we got for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Please show me one card, please. What do we have for Capricorn? Transformation. Now, this is the death card. So, this is transformation, new beginning. Uh, something is ending and something new is beginning. This is a major life change, a profound life change. This is a renewal. This is a new beginning after something ends. So, this could be a separation or a loss that happens in the next three months that begins your transformation. Okay? So that's typically what the death card is. It's a new beginning that happens after a loss. So you may be experiencing um, an ending, but it really is a new beginning. So we do have a new beginning here. It's a big one. This is a major. Okay, it's a major card. So there we have a major new beginning here. Um, transformation is a pretty big word. Okay, that's profound change within yourself. That's becoming a new person, a completely different person than who you used to be. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, what more can I say? Let's get another card. What do we have for Capricorn three months from now? Major life change is coming. There's going to be some sort of ending in the next three months. But when the at the end of the three months, you are going to be a different person. Hmm. One card, please. Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Wands is the moment of decision. Decision is being made. Um, now, whenever I see this card, I think of a drum roll drum roll please you know that's what I feel like this is and if you see the world there's this is a uh, it's a whole new world there's also some sort of romance in the air I just happened to see the rose here a rose is a symbol of romance in the air so there is some sort of uh, I don't know if you've met somebody on the web you may you may have a romantic love interest that you have met that lives in a different part of the world they live in a different country they live in a different location. Maybe you're going to be traveling. You are um, making a decision. It's a very big decision by the looks of things. Maybe you, you're thinking about moving. This is the decision that is being made. And it does have to do... This is a big, huge decision. Um, it does have something to do with love. It does. And it may be shocking to everybody. Okay? It may be shocking that you are making this big, huge decision. It may happen suddenly. It, you know, the Two of Wands can be a very sudden decision. Okay, you may be deciding to expand yourself. This is this could be expansion in another country or a new part of the world, a different part of the world. Um, and it's suddenly. So there's a sudden change here, a sudden choice, a sudden desire for a new life. So you're. You may be moving to a new place where you've never lived before, or you're making the choice, you're making the change, or you're just telling people about it. Um, but yeah, the decision is definitely being made. Oh, there they are. Three cards. Capricorn Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So you are definitely developing your, your spiritual um, awareness. Light-hearted, carefree time. Jug. Hmm. 
basket. Recognition, reward for merit. So you're going to be recognized. And here you're being recognized as well. So wherever you're going, I feel like you will be recognized. You will be more respected. You will be looked up to as well. And you notice there's roses on his arm. So there's something to do with love here. A partnership. You are moving somewhere closer to a partner by the looks of things. You may have met somebody online that lives in a different location or you're moving because of a job you could be you could be relocating because of a job whatever is happening we got a new life okay it's a new beginning an ending that leads to a new beginning and this is about taking the the lighthearted carefree time that's about doing it just taking the leap of faith i'm not going to worry about it this is letting go of your worries uh Going with your gut, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding, knowing, you know, and this is a very spiritual card as well, the death card it is. So I feel like you are definitely following your intuition, following your gut, you're following your inner desires. Torch fire is about desire. That's why I was looking at this earlier. I was trying to figure out because I was concentrating on the fire. Anyhow, there's some sort of passion or desire to definitely step into a new life. And I think it happens very, very suddenly. Wherever you're going, you're going to be more respected. Okay, more rewarded people are going to look up to you more than where you're at right now by the looks of things. So, what do we have for Capricorn three months from now? This may be a new job, even if you're not actually moving, but for some of you, you're moving, you're moving to a new place. You've made up your mind. This is, I've made up my mind, I'm ready for a new life. This is a new life. Relocation. This is relocation. Where you're at, there's no more growth. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. You know, you've been thinking about it probably for a while, and you know, it, it, perhaps it's time. It's time to start uh, taking action. Take what you got and go. That's what it looks like to me. You're going to start uh, broadening your horizons. I think wherever you're at, there's no more fertility. You know, there's nothing, there's no more growth there. It's, it's a dead end. So you're going to be going someplace else. Yeah, you see a new opportunity. It's like instead of you, you've been missing it for a while, perhaps you were focusing on a third party situation or you're focusing on a friend that, or a relationship that, you know, was difficult. There's been a separation from that partnership. You know, you were you were missing a, an opportunity that could make you happy. You just weren't interested. You were sulking. You were crying. Uh, there was a level of sadness here. You were thinking about moving, but you couldn't get over it. But now you're ready. It's like you see it now. Now you're ready. You're ready to for emotional fulfillment. So I think this is seizing a new opportunity. It's like you see it. You're ready for it. You're ready. You're ready. You're done crying about this loss. Right? Um, ready to let go of the regret. You're you're ready to end this stagnation. Now you're interested. You're interested in in something more, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. I think that it's you are facing some challenges. I think that uh, you've been uh, dealing with some opposition. You probably have felt like you were under attack. You probably uh, feel like you got all kinds of people. Maybe it's bill collectors or people that are against you. And you probably feel like you just want to get away. You just want to get away from this. You want to get away from this, uh, these problems by the looks of things. I think that you, you are sick of it. You're sick of fighting. You're sick of all this. If you, if you, you're sick of it. You're sick of it. I don't want to do this anymore. I think you're frustrated. I see f this guy looks very frustrated. I'm sick of fending all of this off. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Um, now, justice. Justice. And this is making a decision. Getting what you deserve. All is, all is fair. This is a legal decision as well. Now this is this is some sort of a defense. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. You could be dealing with the law. You you may be feeling like you are um, 
being watched you know what I mean like you can't get away with anything not that you're trying to but you know you're sick of it it feels like you're really really sick of wherever you've been and it's time to start your new life you know I just want to get out of here I just want to get out of here there could be some legal issues that you're dealing with okay and you may need to defend yourself and maybe that's where you've been I mean this is a defendant right it's a defendant defending yourself and maybe you're sick of it it's like I'm just I'm sick of it I'm sick of it I'm sick of it I'm sick of it and now this is about doing the right thing. Now this is a card of consequences as well. There are two sides to everything. Everything has turned out as it should. Perhaps it's time to stop fighting and maybe you're ready. Because this is I'm ready. I'm ready to stop fighting. So somebody, somebody may be ready. They're just ready. Now so there could be a divorce here. Some, some court things that are cropping up. And you're feeling under attack. Um... Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now this is uh, uh, irresp somebody that is irresponsible, somebody that's not qualified, somebody that has no long-term plan. They may be unemployed. They may be obsessed. There's, this is a sponger, somebody that drops out, doesn't follow through, um, doesn't... Um, make plans or set goals and follow through with them. This is this is somebody who uh, has no long-term plan. Now, protecting yourself from a sponger, perhaps. Maybe that's what you need to do, Is because this is some sort of protection, the Seven of Wands. Being caught off guard. You may be caught off guard by some legal issues. Maybe you just you can't take it anymore. You're sick of it. Maybe you're just losing money. This could be a financial loss. I don't know if you're being taken to court. Hmm. Something is going on here. You're definitely feeling wounded. We have a wounded warrior here. You may be expecting trouble. Uh, you definitely feel you may need to defend yourself. We, ha we, have, we have the law here. Defend, defend. So something you may need to defend yourself about somebody against somebody that involves the law. So I'm just I gotta be honest with you. You may need to defend yourself. And you're sick of it. You're sick of it. I think that you've been having to defend yourself. And maybe you're just ready to give up. You're just ready to give up and say, you know what, you win, I'm out. I'm out. Um You are definitely facing some challenges. We got challenges here. And this is karma. So I'm not sure if you're dealing, got some karma that is coming. Hmm. Challenge, challenge, karma. The law. This is, this is, um, soul ownership. Taking ownership for something. I think you need to take ownership for something. Now, what is going on? Three of Pentacles reversed. This is not putting in effort, not working well together, uh, lack of respect. This is lack of respect, lack of togetherness. It's time to refocus. You need to refocus. You need to re refocus on yourself, on your job, on your security, on your stability. You need to come up with a plan. You need to set some sort of goals. I feel like you've been dragged down by somebody and somebody that you have some karma with. So I feel like you need to really refocus and come up with a plan and stop staying fighting with whoever this person is. It's like you're fighting with somebody. Trying to prove something. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but there's no togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. I think that it's hard. It, somebody, we have somebody here that just doesn't work well with the people that they've been working with. You don't work well with whoever these people are. Perhaps it's time to turn your back. Mm, poor decision. Somebody has made a poor decision right here with this two of pentacles. They've tried, they've bitten off more than they can chew. And it's like there's more of a loss than there is a profit here. Somebody has made some poor decisions and they, they didn't think before they took some, some steps. You know, they took some steps. It's like two steps forward, three steps back. 
We have somebody here that is very unbalanced, trying to prove themselves, trying to do too much, trying to be somebody that they are not, and it's causing them to go backwards. But I feel as though the decision is being made, okay, with that two of wands to uh, let something go that has caused a lot of chaos in your life. Okay, I feel as though there's also going to be a reconnection with uh, the past. I mean, we have the Six of Cups here. So the Six of Cups is remembering what love is, remembering what happiness is. This is nostalgia. Um, and the Three of Cups is celebrating. There could be a reunion here with these two cards. Reun reuniting from, with, with somebody from your past. You may be reuniting with somebody. There could be a reunion here. But it feels, I mean, the Six of Cups next to the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a celebration, a, a celebratory reunion. Uh, having fun. Socializing. You could be out socializing, having fun, and you reconnect with somebody from your past. Somebody in this, when I say somebody from your past, we get a lot of people that think, and this could even be on social media. This could be on social media. Somebody from the past can be somebody from a past life. We get people that are so closed minded that they, 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 they start thinking of all the people that they dated in the past. Okay. How many people have you met in your lifetime? Okay. Think about all the people that you have crossed paths with in your life. Those are all people in your past so there is there is a reconnection with somebody that you know put it that way and you may you may reconnect with this person over social media or at a party or a gathering or something like that but this two of pentacles reversed is you know being overwhelmed overextending yourself you have been and letting something go Maybe you're letting the past go and you're, you know, going to go have some fun. You're going to make new friends because this could be letting the past go. So, and maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe it's time to go have some fun. It's time to socialize. It's time to live it up. I feel as though, um, Capricorn, you're going to be relocating someplace. You're ready. You're ready to, uh, let go of this stagnant period of your life you you have there's been a delay there's been a delay in success you've been up against some serious karma by the looks of things you've been dealing with uh, a real struggle here a, a, a struggle of uh, you know working with other people that don't respect you or you don't respect them there's just a lack of harmony with others here that has caused a lot of hard feelings. I think you have a lot of hard feelings with some people that are in your arena. And I think perhaps it's time to, you know, start a new life someplace else. That's what this is. I know that's what this is. So I feel like you will be, uh, maybe you're dropping, uh, somebody from your past and you're, you're going to get out there and have some fun and maybe you reconnect with somebody else and you may, and it, and when you reconnect with this person, it's like, you know, them, whether you know them in this lifetime or not, you're going to be very feeling very familiar with this person. Um, but you have been confined, right? You've been trapped. You've been in a state of paranoia. You've been in a state of, of, uh, mental turmoil. So I think you've had a hard time breaking free from a situation that this, this situation was really keeping you stuck. You were really, really, really choosing. You are obviously choosing to let this hurt you. You were, you were choosing to let this confine you. But I think now you're ready. It's like you just, you just can't do it anymore. You can't, you can't keep staying here. You know, you could have a friend from your past that helps to break you free from this situation. Maybe this person, they see that you're going down. They see that you're hurt. They see that, that you need their help and they help, they, they help to break you free. They, they give you some good advice. The 
This is the death of a person or idea. The Four of Swords. And the devil reversed. Now this is breaking free. Break. This is a dead end. It is a dead end situation. I think that you have uh, done all the uh, rest and recuperation and meditating and thinking that you can do. I really feel like it's time for you to break free from this toxic, unhealthy situation that you have been uh, holding on to. You've been stuck in. And I think that's what you're going to do. I think that you are breaking free, breaking these chains. You are severing ties with something that you took plenty of time to consider. I don't think that you, when I mean, you thought about this, it plagued you. It, it really held you back for a long time. And I think that you finally realize that this is unhealthy. It's really unhealthy. And you're, it's time to live again. That is the message here. It's time to live again. It, I feel like you you are... It, it's time. It's time to be free. It's, it's time to sever these ties. time to break these chains. And it's time to live. And I think in three months from now, you are going to get out of that bed. And you are going to get out of that house. And you are going someplace that you have never been. I feel like you're moving. Okay? You're relocating. You've thought about it and 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 thought about it. And thinking time is over. It's over. I think, you know, during this time of isolation, you know, you were came to some sort of conclusion, right? I think you came to some sort of conclusion that this isn't what you want. So Capricorn, I feel like you are making a decision to relocate someplace. You are breaking free from an unhealthy situation that you were tied to. You were reluctant to let it go. But I think that you ha are now seeing that there's no more growth there. And you're ready to fly. And I feel like you are. I think that you're, you're done. You're done staying home. You're done staying in your bed. You're done living that, that life. I see a new life, okay? We have a new life here. Um... I see you pushing people away that don't respect you. Okay. I do. This is pushing people away that don't respect you. I see you uh, perhaps having some hard feelings because this is hard feelings. You've been wounded. You've been wounded. You've been hurt by setting boundaries. You know, I'll go by myself. I don't need you. I don't need you. I can take care of myself. And I think this is, is going to um, bring you together with maybe it's even a new tribe. It's a new group of friends. I feel like you are going to uh, start celebrating again. You're going to start living again. You're going to start having fun. You're going to break free from this uh, mental prison that you have been trapped in. Uh, so I think it's a really good time. Um, you have developed spiritually through this time of isolation okay um, and I think that you're ready to live that carefree life and you're gonna go someplace where you are recognized instead of disrespected good luck